Hello and welcome back to BookTube with Jenny Ruiz. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, ring the notification bell, do all the things so you don't miss a thing because I am here to help you find your next read. And as always, thank you friends. In today's Indie Author Spotlight, we have Dirty Work by Richard Vox with Brad Kuhn. Where would I be without my neighbor and friend, Anjanette Barr, who keeps Juno, Alaska hopping for me with all things book related? From her, I have gotten a wealth of books and I have a slew of books to be read that are all from indie authors. Thank you, Anjanette. Dirty Work is the untold story of Richard Vox's secret mission to steal back TWA Flight 847 from Hezbollah. Richard is a man's man, and this book is also mainly for a male readership. Not to say women wouldn't enjoy it, simply to say that I think men would really appreciate this book, even more so than women. The back cover copy reads, Richard Vox has done his share of dirty work, but nothing like this. His employer, Trans World Airlines, TWA, wants him and a crew to sneak into Beirut, Lebanon at the height of a civil war and reclaim an airplane hijacked by Palestinian terrorists. TWA can't say for sure whether the plane will fly or whether it has been wired to explode over the Mediterranean. And that's assuming they aren't attacked by one or more of the rival militias who pass the time shooting each other across the tarmac, but only because there haven't been any Americans to kidnap in a while. So let's get the negativity out of the way first. <laughs> Why I say Richard as a man's man is because of his illustrious career, okay? So he's been flying airplanes for most of his adult life, First as an Air Force fighter pilot, later as a captain with Trans World Airlines. He's older, and he ain't gonna change for nobody. And you know, he has a bit of a ton on him, right? What I mean by that is there's a little bit of bad language that appears in this book. And if you've watched me for any length of time, you know how I kind of feel about that. I'm a little sensitive with the bad words. Not a fan, not a fan. So there's the negative. This book does have some colorful language in it, all right? Not to say that in light of the goings on and the happenings that some of those words perhaps aren't warranted, it's just not what I would want to advocate that anyone speak like or that I would want to emulate for my children to hear or listen to or read. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and give this book that M for mature audiences because although technically any high schooler could pick this book up and easily read it, I wouldn't want my 15 year old son to read it, not until he's more full grown. And really that's my biggest negative to the book is just the colorful language. And so for that reason, I've given this book four stars. Now on to the positive. It is a super fast paced read. It's good, y'all. And especially for the men out there, this book, Dirty Work, is for you. So women, hear me out. This would be a good book if you have a reader husband or a husband that's past military or anyone serving currently in the military. This is a good book to read. It's entertaining, suspenseful, almost unbelievable, if it weren't true. It's a good read. And it has some great sentences that make this book enjoyable, a little bit clippy, a little bit fun, despite the seriousness of the topics and the endeavors that are being undertaken. So the book starts out where Richard is supposed to be taking a fishing trip with his son. And then all of a sudden, he gets a phone call. Nobody was supposed to answer the phone call. 
They were supposed to already be on their way. Don't pick up the phone. No last minute work, no being called away. Just don't answer the phone. And yet, oops, his son did pick up. And thus, the fishing trip ended up being canceled. Somewhere in Maine, a whole school of salmon just want a stay of execution. I hope I haven't just signed my own death warrant. And that, my friends, was found on page seven. And so you have the funny mixed with the serious pretty much in the same breath. And that's part of what makes this book go so quickly. It just flows from one thing into the next. It's 97 pages. You can definitely read it in one sitting. One other highlight for me is I absolutely love that pictures were included in this book. It brings the whole thing to life. And who doesn't want that? Because like I said, it's almost unbelievable if it weren't true. And you got to read through to the end. Don't stop. Don't skip. Read from beginning to end. And find out just how close Richard came to dying. Again, four stars from me for mature audiences. And have at it, especially you men out there. Until next time, friends.